beginning, I was the witness to this great thing that is happening today. If I was not there, I would think that, oh, this man will come to church. You see, market women, they finish selling, their body is smelling of pepper. Uh, you know, uh, there's what the Yoruba people call it. What do they call it in, in English? Locust beans. You know, they will be smelly of locust beans, and when you are in church, you will put your hand, and the man will be prophesying good thing about the church. Then we will be, what is, this man, I don't know what he said. You know, he talks gently, he doesn't shout like some of us jumping from one stage to the other. I have never known him to use handkerchief after he's sweating like a Christmas goat. He will be using it. He talks gently. But suddenly, suddenly, that word that he was prophesying, that good thing he was saying about himself, that good thing he was saying about the ministry, suddenly it started changing. It started changing. Do you know that today? When you go to the redemption camp, when they make up that call, they use vehicle to bring people at the end of the auditorium. The auditorium is about two kilometers long. I, I'm not exaggerating. Go there and see by yourself. So it's coming to pass. Now those who the old were not where the whole thing started, they are always celebrating the success today. Yeah. They didn't see the story. So we must learn to separate failure as an event. And you as a failure. So when you do a thing and the thing did not work, it is an event. You may have written an exam, you did not pass. It was an event. You can write the same exam again and you pass. Yeah. You can cook a pot of soup and your husband complains. That does not make you a failure. No. That was just an event. Yeah. Tomorrow you cook another one, it becomes sweet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you try a business and it did not work, it does not make you a failure. No. It is only the business that has failed, not yeah. you. No. If you enroll for a course and you are not able to complete it, that does not make you a failure. No. If you write an exam and you fail, or you cook a pot of soup and it is not, it didn't taste well, it does not make you a failure. But it was only an event, and it is only that event that failed. Mm. If I plan a program and people did not turn up, that does not make me a failure. No. It is just only an event. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Amen. So I can do something else tomorrow. I can do something else tomorrow. And I will do it excellently well. Amen. Amen. That was why Michael the prophet said, Don't laugh at me today. Because I have not done well today. Don't laugh too much. And the adage that says, he that laugh lasts, we we'll laugh the best. Don't laugh at me today. Those who are laughing at Freedom House, oh, the place is empty. Oh, they are not doing well. Oh, it's only children are there. Hold your bread. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. They were like them that dream. So next time, if I write the same exam, I will pass. Amen. If you cook a pot of soup and your husband is complaining, that does not make you a bad cook. No. Tomorrow you will keep cook another one, or the same soup. Yeah. But it will come out fine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can I hear somebody say amen? Yeah. So what is failure then? Failure means giving up and not willing to try again. You fail an exam and you are afraid to try again. That makes you a failure. Amen. Amen. Don't fold your hands and look at us struggling. Do something to make Freedom House successful. 
you are part of the success train. Amen. 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 I didn't hear your amen. amen. So you can try that exam again. Register that business again. Start it again. Develop that skill. No matter how many times you make mistake, don't run away. You will succeed. Amen. Now let's quickly look at the nuggets for success. They are there in your bulletin. The nuggets for success. Number one. To succeed, you should be ready. Prepare your mind for failure. Because when you fail, it won't be strength. You have already made provision. You know, businesses, they make for provision for, for losses. Don't you know how many accountants are here? They make provision for losses in case there is a loss. Yeah. But if at the end of the year there is no loss, it becomes an added profit. Yeah. Number two, think of failure as a feedback. Mm -hmm. Don't see failure as an enemy. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That is why when people criticize you, don't take offense too much. Learn from the criticism. Yeah. Amen? People Amen. who criticize you, they are your friend. Yeah. Okay, Learn from them. Number three, keep trying different approach. Don't stay on one approach. Don't stay on one thing. No. Try different things. Do you know how many businesses I have tried? No. I tried one. The thing didn't work well the way I wanted. I switched over to another one. I tried that one. It didn't work. I have to try another one. Can't you look at me? <laughs> look at me. See the way I do things. I'm your pastor. I don't just preach. <laughs> Amen. 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 I don't just stay put on one thing. See, the other time we removed the chair, we felt that that was the best approach. But the thing, it got to a time that it was becoming boring. Yeah. I have to rearrange it to make it colorful. Mm -hmm. So if we stay on this one and the thing is boring again, maybe I will put the chair on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, oh, you think that is not possible? The Bible says, with God, all oh. <laughs> things are possible. <laughs> be persistent. Don't be a rolling stone. Be persistent. Pursue your vision with passion. Develop passion for what you want to achieve. Be passionate. Amen. That business you register. Be passionate about it. Eh? The owner of the cops is the one that will carry it where it's smelling. Have you heard that proverb before? No. <laughs> it's strange to some people. If you have a cops, a dead cops, will you run away? No. If it is smelling. Who will come and help you to carry it? Yes. You are the one that will carry it. Yes. So you are the owner of the business. Yes. So if you put people there and you go and sleep, the business will be sleeping. Yes. That is what I mean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God that there are no house boys and house girls here. So you are the one that will do the cooking. You are the one that will drive yourself yes. and do everything. Amen? Amen? So if the car is dirty, you are the one that will wash it yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Learn quickly from your mistakes and move on from move forward. After you have learned, move forward. Next, never call yourself a failure, no matter the circumstance. <coughs> if you use your own shirt to mop the ground, the person that didn't own it will take it and shred it. Does that make any sense? <laughs> If you don't treat your own thing well very well, the person who does not own it yeah. will 